This lecture is entitled Side Effects of Acetazolamide and in the preparation of this lecture I've reviewed the world literature on the side effects of acetazolamide and I've also tried to share some of the extensive clinical practice from working in a busy supra-regional glaucoma unit where we have to use a great deal of acetazolamide. I'm going to start with just a little bit of basic biochemistry and talk about the pharmacodynamics of acetazolamide as I think it's very important to have this basic biochemistry in mind when thinking about the large range of side effects that we can encounter in the body. So we all know that carbonic anhydrase is an enzyme that catalyzes the reversible reaction converting carbon dioxide and water into carbonic acid uh, with the further formation of bicarbonate and hydrogen ions in the ciliopithelial membrane. But this process occurs through all body tissues. It just so happens that bicarbonate is required for the production of aqueous humour in the eye. And so when you use acetazolamide, which is a systemic carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, the act of inhibiting carbonic anhydrase decreases the production of bicarbonate. By decreasing the production of bicarbonate, acetazolamide decreases aqueous humor production, thereby lowering intraocular pressure. Carbonic anhydrase is a very interesting enzyme. There are actually many different families of carbonic anhydrase in nature and they are all widely different in their amino acid composition and this is thought to be one of the uh, strong pieces of evidence for convergent evolution. The alpha carbonic anhydrase family is the principal family in humans and there are many human isoforms of the alpha CA enzyme with at least 15 different isoforms. This particular enzyme contains a zinc ion and is an example of a metalloenzyme. When thinking about the side effects of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors such as acetazolamide, the principle I use is that because carbonic anhydrase is fundamental to cellular acid-base balance and homeostasis, there are going to be a very wide range of potential side effects of systemic carbonic anhydrase inhibitor use throughout the whole body. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.